Welcome back class. This video will introduce you to unit number three and discuss our first two vocabulary words and how they apply to the unit itself. We'll also be discussing the central question as always. Uh, in front of us here we have two different artworks. They are both cardboard reliefs and we are going to discuss what a relief is and how to use cardboard uh, to create uh, this type of art. These are just two examples. The type of relief that I would expect from a class, RCVA class, would be more of this elephant on the left. This image on the right is an extremely detailed one. I would not expect this from anyone, although I always like to demonstrate how far something like this can be taken. We are essentially going to be cutting, measuring and cutting cardboard and stacking it together on different planes, different levels to make an image rise up from the surface. Once that's done and the glue is dried, the final step would be to add color to it just to give it um, that extra detail and make it pop. So I'm going to go on to the first vocabulary word, which is a oops. It's not an oops. It is a relief. I'll just moving my screen here. So a relief is a sculpture with a raised surface. That's your first definition for your entrance ticket. On the far left, you have a classic example uh, made during the Greek and Roman times where the reliefs were carved out of stone. They just had a block of stone and would carve into it, and you would have these figures still attached to the stone but rising up on different levels. So you can basically see how this figure here is thinner and flatter. He is further back behind these figures, these four, three soldiers in the front, who are, are rise up, raised up from the surface more and closer to the viewer themselves. So relief is all about having different layers uh, of depth to make something rise out and pop out at you. And on the right, this is a very intricate artwork of uh, a forest or some dense woods where the different trees and uh, shrubbery is stacked and layered to make you actually feel like you can go back and in between these trees uh, just to show how the layering can really show that level of depth. Oops, saying oops a lot this video. So the next word for your entrance ticket is a plane. A plane is a flat level or surface. So if you look on the right, we see layer one, layer two, layer three, and four. That's essentially what you're doing with your cardboard is you're just cutting, gluing, and stacking. I know I've been making this hand gesture a lot in this video, but this unit, this project is all about planes and layers and basically stacking one thing on top of the other to um, achieve the desired effect that you want for your image. So your central question is how do artists document the creative process? This is your question you'll be answering in your entrance ticket and to discuss that a little bit just like your first art task for your unit you're essentially going to be creating something like this where you're going to be sketching out your image what you want to create for your relief and labeling the different sections and what layers they are. So this image of this person with long hair, you can see that the first layer was shaded in this light brown, the second layer is kind of a yellowish brown, and the third layer, the layer that's furthest out, highest up uh, to us is in yellow. So that's essentially how you would um, document or start the documentation of this process is by creating that sketch. Now, I just want to let you know that you're allowed to make an image of um, anything you want. Any artwork you ever make, you should always invest yourself into and make, you know, create something that you enjoy. So, you know, if you just wanted to do, you know, an animal like that elephant or you're into sports or you're into a certain cartoon or uh, you want to do some kind of graffiti style art, something like that, you, you can really do anything as long as you filled the entire uh, cardboard, the entire um, frame of your relief with imagery and different layers so that everything works together. So just keep that in mind that um, while you're watching this and you're thinking about what kind of image you might want to create, make sure it's something that you'll enjoy um, because you'll really be invested in the project then. Um, so you're going to answer the uh, two vocabulary questions in this final question here. And I uh, just want to discuss, this is going to be your EQ for the end of the entire unit, the one that you answer in your learning log, and it is why do artists experiment? So just be keeping that question in the back of your mind um, every day, each week for each lesson, so that once you do um, answer that question, you know how to answer that thoroughly and accurately. So you're thinking, why do artists experiment? All right, so please make sure you complete your entrance ticket. At the end of your entrance ticket, please Make sure you uh, see me during the lesson instructions so we can, I can actually demonstrate um, what you need to do and how to um,
complete the art task for lesson one and how to start the project. All right, guys, um, please message me if you have any questions, and I will see you soon. All right, bye.